Okay, Shalom, I love you all. Praise on and glory to y'all. Bless you, Yahweh Shai, Brachat Yahweh. Brachat the Yahweh Shai, Brachat the Rakaka Dash, the Bronis of the Apostles of the Great Millstone, it was GMS. All right. Um, salutation, peace, and blessings to the hopeful elect, Israelite foreigners, faith based Israelites, uh, the Akawa, who believe it in this truth, who's humbling themselves. All right. Um, here we go. Quick video here. Just something real quick. Exposing this devil some more. Keeping a light on this devil. That's what we do. We're keeping a light on this damn devil. You know? Stealing people's inventions. He was known for taking the inventions of a few African American inventors. Um, Louis Latimer, um, Grainville T. Woods actually went to court with Thomas Edison, and Grainville T. Woods actually won his case. Thomas Edison tried to bring Grainville T. Woods to court on that invention. You hear that? You hear that? It said he tried to take the brother to court for the inventions that weren't even his. Devil, the devil, man. These people are, these people are devils, man. You know, and literally that's what it meant when the earth was given into the hands of the wicked. That's literally what it meant. You know, they had a free reign to to kill and to steal and to destroy. You know. I just saw a commercial for Mazda, I believe, cars, where they said, here's a man holding a thousand patents. Well, 90% of them he stole. Did you hear that? This man, they, they gave this man praise for a thousand inventions, but, the, but he stole 90% of them. <laughs> Thomas Edison was known. That's something else, man. You know, thy nakedness shall be uncovered, yea, thy shame shall be seen. Yahusha said, I will take vengeance, and that's who's going to avenge us. That's who's going to avenge us is our Lord and, and our Savior, Yahweh Bashem Yahusha, Yahweh our big brother. You know? He's going to deliver us from out of this, this power, out of this, out of this, this uh this hard bondage under this oppression. You know. So he said, I will take vengeance, and I will not meet thee as a man. He's going to come and destroy this devil. He said, rise up, wait, wait, wait patiently and uh, wait and wait patiently till I rise up unto the prey. You know, and that's what we're waiting for, for the devil to, to this, this, this free reign of terror that he was given. We're waiting for that day when it's taken away from him. Which we're at the, we're at the, uh, the eve of that day now, you know, those days is, that day is knocking. That day is the door's. The, the knob is starting to turn to open that door to get us to hell up out of this oppression, man. But again, like I said, this video is pretty much just exposed this man for all with, for the devil he was and the devil he still is to this very day, as you see. And especially with what went down in Washington, D.C. with how they treated those Edomites that terrorized Washington, D.C. and how they treated the so-called blacks that were out doing the foolish act of... um. Um, marching and whatever they were doing during the uprising during the summer, you know, because we're no part of that madness, but it still exposed the hypocrisy of this devil, you know, accusing everybody else of what he's guilty of. He's a murderer. He's an identity thief. You know, he's a thief. He's a murderer, period. He's a child molester. You know, he's a Satanist, you know. So he accuses all the other nations of what he guilty of. He's accusing all the other nations of Weapons of mass destruction, and who and only the only damn devils that even use weapons of mass destruction and currently using them, those that don't even reach the news, you know, with all these wars that they're behind in the Ukraine, in uh, Afghanistan, in Syria, Iraq, Yemen, the United States government has its foot in, in behind everything, all wars that's going on, what they refer to as proxy wars. So you can't directly blame them. Man, what a, what the heck? Uh, you know, uh, the devil. That's the devil for you. You know? What's the scripture again? Um, let me see if I can find this scripture. Let's see if I can find this scripture here. I'm getting back to my point, though, the video. I know that's John, if I'm correct. John, 10 and 10. 
the thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. All right. So we're warning you about these damn devils. The same devil he was then. He's the same damn devil now, man. A, a deceiver. A deceiver. You know? A deceiver. There you go. A damn deceiver. You know? Diablos. Diablos. Prone to slander, slanderous, accusing falsely. You know? A, a, a calumniator, false accuser, slander. Metaphor applied to a man who, by opposing the cause of the Most High, may be said to act the part of the devil or to side with him. They are the devil. They are this damn devil, man. All right. So going into the scriptures again, um, I'm going to read it out of my apography here. Um, this is Wisdom of Solomon. Is it five that I'm looking for? Five and one. It says, Then shall the righteous man... Then shall the righteous man, the Israelite man, the ones that you are seeing on the highways and the byways, you know, in those garments that you call, they call dirty rags and so on and so forth, and bums, you know, those are the righteous men who Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai set up, whether you like it or not. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness. When you're bold, man, that means you're exposing every damn thing without holding back. Which we're instructed could pursue into Isaiah uh, 50, 51, 48, somewhere in there. Spare not, cry aloud, uh, show my people their transgression. That's the scripture I'm referring to. But standing in the great boat and is exposing this damn devil, the same devil that brought us over here in shackles and chains and 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 and, and cargo slave ships and piled up as as it was cargo, as it was precious cargo, which really was precious. But as, as if it was cargo like some Amazon shipment truck, <laughs> that same man that castrated us and, and murdered us and, you know, and terrorized us and, and in, the, in front of our families and committed acts as far as uh, what they call uh, uh, buck breaking when they uh, would rape the, the strong black male. The may, uh, uh, da uh, goddamn Edomite would rape a black male in front of his family, his wife and kids and break him. Man, this is a foul damn, the same devil as, like I said, and still terrorizing us to this day as you've been witnessing, you know, with these so-called people in law enforcement that are supposed to be sworn in to serve and to protect is terrorizing the hell out of us, showing you that this is not our rest, showing you this is no place to be comfortable and, and happy and secure. That's, it wasn't meant to be that way, you know? So again, standing in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him. So Captain Tazariak, to, uh, uh, to be afflicted, that's the same as being uh, um, oppressed. And, you know, <laughs> to do crazy, man. You know, we've been afflicted here, man. You know, and again, and made no account of his labors and i looked up no I, actually what i did i looked up account uh etymology just gave me no account if you see here gave me account account nerve noun form verb form and adjective so it gave me no account and that's the spirit of yahweh bashim yahweh shai so it says no account worthless you know um literally of no account the phrase of non-account of no value or importance. So this devil, again, the devil, you know, it's not important. The truth isn't important. You know, the truth isn't important. That's how he looks at it. The truth isn't important, you know? So what this devil does, what he, he has, what the apostle Gabar, the videos, and he, and he mentions how this devil has a God complex, you know, this devil wants to be God. He wants to play God, you know? So with his plan, wanting to be God, wanting to play God, his works are all abominable. So this devil is literally destroying the earth. He personally, what I see, this devil has that um, a child's mentality. If I can't have it, you can't either. 
So its ultimate goal is to destroy the whole planet Earth, man, which is going to help, which isn't going to work. You know, the scripture says the earth will abide forever. This place is going to be here forever and not just be here forever. The, the, after this devil's taken out down, this place is going to prosper. You know, the earth is going to literally, it's going to prosper. And the Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is going to give the earth its full increase. And the scriptures in the book of Isaiah, a few books that I can think of, goes into that full increase, how everything's going to be multiplied. And even the children of Israel, we're going to plant the heavens. Beautiful scriptures, man. Beautiful scriptures, man. You know, but I, again, just want to bring to light, keep the lie on this devil, that this devil is still the, the devil. You know, he's still the thief. You know, he's still stealing. He's still destroying. <laughs> so till next time, Lord willing, Shalom.